another gameplay video of Elder El El D Weetle or Hill Online Open Source. And they're twenty we're playing as we do again. And let's continue. Today we'll be looking at Forge and showing you how to play it. Or well how to use it. Okay, first we already showed okay basically you suck your map here. If you already saved the map, you can find it underneath the main map. No settings, what's in here? They tell me people can basically just your lobby settings and other things. Like destinations, if you want to try in the back or not. Dual wielding, on off, interesting. Switching limited, voting mode, no voting. Basically, it's just general serverness. You don't know more about this today. Game options is your general game options for what your traits are going to be, as in how much shield you're going to have as compared to normal. Sensors, how far or short they are, or if they track, or if they track by motion, by motion, or, or like a radar where they track whether they don't need motion in order to work. How far? I use backspace to go back. I, I just realized that appearance came out at a waypoint. They go to all allies. That's thing over your head. Standard editor would be the mon monitor. So when you flex your living room, I cleared the four more shields to charge. Oh, that's cool. I don't think that was in Halo 3. It could be in the newer games, but it might not be. Oh, I forgot to save this. Let's do that. So I want my pistol to be my secondary. And also today we'll look at the new, we'll look at the fortune we didn't look at which are vehicles. That was, that was very silly of me, I know. Infinity ammo means that you can, means that you can reload, means that you can reload unlimited ma number of magazines. Bottomless clip means you have unlimited ammo in your clip, which the clip goes into a magazine, so you don't need to ever reload. You don't need, have, you don't need to ever press X, pretty much. Pretty much like a pretty much like a classic first person, first person shooter first first person shooter without first person shooter without the whole you know infinity ammo thing or with the with the whole infinity ammo thing. We we'll pick up your grenade regeneration. Grenade count. Force color, whether basically we'll, we'll over your team colors or not. Black is actually six black. You actually can't get this normally, or at least not in the, not, at least not, not in the original Halo 3. Or at least not in Halo 3, I mean. Their size is unique to Halo Online, and actually I believe it was in Halo 5, I do believe it was in Halo 5 as well, if you're wrong. Probably, probably am. Yeah. I really need to check out five options. How do I save game settings? No, not forge. Alright, let's go. Now, notice how fast it loads. That's the power of the mouse computer. Dare server, forge. Vanilla, uh, Valhalla training. Or just train. Now, I should spawn at red base. Which is the base we're looking at. We should. If not, I did something wrong. So over here, that's just as good. Alright, you saw up in the D-pad. Well, we're playing on PC. There is no such thing as D-pad. Or is there? Up arrow. You go into monitor mode. Monitor mode, you propel yourself using forward. Hello, elephant. Up and down with Q, with Q and E. Change your speed with F. It's pretty cool when it wants to work. I sneezed. X to open the menu. Um, I skip to close it. 
see the copy. Like that. If you're selecting something with with uh oh that's selection. Copy these. Oh, okay, that's that's cool. So basically this is selecting and you can copy multiple things. Does that make sense? Space hard to let go. And left click to unselect. Okay, that makes sense. Deletes to delete. And that's pretty much all I know so far. Oh, right click zooms in. Move mouse way, that's nothing. Um, how do you move an object? Can you manipulate an object? Let's copy you again. Oh, space bar to pick up, right, God. You hold left click, and, and uh, w, uh, w does this, pushes the object away. Uh, S pushes forward. D, uh, I need tilt. That just goes down. This brings up your object properties menu, which you can add a higher response, higher or lower, or never respawn rate. Physics phase, which means you can do this, which this is from Halo Reach. X to actually escape to close. Which means you can kind of not do that. Which means you can do this. Wait. It's very finicky, because remember, this is the Halo 3 engine. Yeah, this is the Halo 3 engine, and it probably doesn't refer to objects. Okay, let's do it again. Alright, that's pretty much tutorial over. Let's just have fun with the new vehicles. Oh, yeah, I mean, you, you may have noticed the elephant. Yeah, all of you that wanted to spawn elephants in Halo 3, um, you can do that. You can do that in Arduito. And it's a fully functioning elephant from Centrap. And also in El Dorito, you can see exactly why the elephant was never put on such maps. Was well, A because of the limitations of the game engine, limitations of the Xbox, and limitations of the maps. You can get away with it in Valhalla, kind of actually. Oh, this works. And actually use A and D to move. You don't have to use you don't have to use the the, uh, the mouse. Okay, so the elephant works on Valhalla. Kinda, uh, I just have a torque for some odd reason. Come on. Patience, it is, a, it is an elephant on a foreign map. But yeah, I, I decided to make myself like, my own little map in Forge. I did kind of spoil the fun. I already drove the elephant. I already spawned in an elephant. I already drove the chop, chopper. I, I, did, I, did, I didn't fly the Hornet yet. Or the troop or civilian war talk. Okay, party here, just this is fine. Chapa. My favorite non UNC vehicle in Halo. It's less it's less gear up. How about let's say drivable in multiplayer? I mean there were okay, I like the rev that too. Well, this is red base. Scorpion. And notice there was two hornets there. There's a good reason for it, for that. Well, you can put, you can actually set down destroyed warthogs. This is not quite destroyed enough yet. Wait, maybe it is. Mongoose. Civilian Warthog, or Warthog without the turret, which means it should be a lot faster. Yeah, it is, because weight reduction. Now, Warthogs go 75 on all terrain. So 
so removing away is actually the best way to do it, including removing p panels and stuff. As long as it's not Halo 2, that is. Halo 2 actually makes your performance worse. I think that's what's supposed to be intended in the first place. More things there. Oh, that's a nice ramp. We did that before. This is blue base with the Prowler, Banshee, and another, um, and another race, which is what you might actually know by its colors. We'll get to you in a second. I'm gonna test out the other war dogs. I don't believe you could drive a civilian warthog. I mean, you could drive a civilian warthog in Halo, in Halo 3. It was only on Sand Trap and it was a glitch. You need to think at the back. No. So it's only a two seater warthog. Oh, this is a pistol, by the way. It's using me for design, but it's tiny. And I haven't just uh, multiplayer yet, but um, it is accurate. Okay, let's test out the true four tog. Okay, I go in the back first. Yes. Yes, the back. Can you go in the sides? No. At least I like that. Oh, this one's actually faster. Fastest. The civilian warthog is just a warthog without a turret. This one is meant for carrying troops, obviously. It's meant to carry three people in the back, I think. If not a bit more. Oh, come on. Getting used to the mouse control. And we're like to attack, come on. There we go. Still got it, alright. Now the true Warthog was only was only in the campaign unless of course you actually modded your Xbox. Um, got a I forgot I forgot what it's called, but um, oh yeah, got a JTAG Xbox and could and could mod it to actually put it into your game. That was the only time you could drive a true Warthog in the original Halo in the original Halo or well, in Halo Three. I'm trying to do my turns. Glass for Haas, that's not anything new. It uses the classic just by having the newer turret. Newer. Not new yeah, I mean, it's. Actually, it just looks funny. If, I guess this is just a graphically updated version of the turret for from Halo 3. Is all, is all it is, yeah. I don't think that's the Halo 5 turret. I don't think so. Does Halo 5 even have Gloss Gloss houses? A.K.A. Um, Gloss Warthogs. And Snow Warthog. This is the Warthog you'll find on Snow Maps. Oh, so we're on Snow Map. That's why it looks weird. See the Mongoose? Actually, let's get in the... Troop Warthog. I, I always love the Troop Warthog. Because I always love it. It was a bit faster. It kind of is. Also, I need to delete some of these. Not putting the pad. I've always dreamt about Forge on Hill uh, for Forge on PC. I mean, they did give us, they did give, they did give us Forge on PC, um, with Halo 4, but even then it's, I mean, I never tried it, I, well, with Halo 5, I never tried it though, because they don't have Windows 10. Scorpion, it's, it's the, uh, can I do my, yes. Yeah, well, one thing is very hard, even, with a controller it's very hard, with a keyboard and mouse it's even harder. Because they're not, because I'm used to it, and whole on-off thing is, uh, is quite a drag. Yeah, you can't really do it with the keyboard and mouse, at least not easily. So I need to set up my controller. I'll set up on my own time. I 
Okay, it's the Halo, it's basically the Halo 3, it's the Halo 3, um, it's the Halo 3 Scorpion with the Halo, uh, with Halo Reach 4 and 5 look. Yeah, the machine gun, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't think you can actually drive, I don't think you can actually drive with your turn, turn backwards. And you in um in in um in El Dorito because of the keyboard. Another reason why I prefer controllers. I wonder if they're going to have the gun goose. They should have the gun goose because why not? Okay, now we got the Hornet and the other Hornet. This is the Hornet Light. This is unique to El Dorito and Halo Online. Actually, for compar for comparison's sake. So that was good sneeze there. Oh, it should still work, still work hard, why not? That was fast. Okay, space to go up, control to go down. Makes sense. Oh, whoops, there goes the antenna. No! Oh, I saved myself. I'm so good I saved myself. Now there are a couple hornets I should add, like like a police hornet, um, a troop hornet. Oh, and they can also add the. I forgot what it was called, but pretty well. They should add the Halo Four and Five hornet. I forgot what it's called. Um, and the um and Professor Anders hornet or Professor 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 Anders exclusive vehicle. This is the Hornet Light. It doesn't have rockets. So it should be a bit faster. It is. And it has a lighter gun because you can hear it. And it's a sli slightly faster rip -hard. Oh, it is way faster though. It actually feels like you're f flying a, you know, uh, an actual plane instead of a helicopter like VTOL. Oh, bunk. These hornets are slow because they got two jet engines pointed straight up. And they can't exactly point forward either because they have the wings. And as far as I know, the the, the horn is actually very accurately modeled in game on how the on how the thruster should be working. Which by which by the way, the horn has always been my favorite thing about Halo. Too bad they took it out in newer ones for whatever reason. I have no idea. And just replaced it with just a banshee. But they, uh, but they did put it back in Halo 5 with the new Hornet, and it did return in Halo 2 Anniversary Forge. But hey, it's in El Dorito, and I love it. And I love the light one too. Now, now let's use the pistol. Oh, it uses the Halo 1 animation. Or it uses the Halo 3 animation, it can't tell. But these are all the these are all the assault rifles, all the pistols. All the other pistols. So this is the damage mod mod. As you can see it sounds it sounds well, it sounds more beefy, it sounds more strong. Because it does higher damage and has slower rear fire. Let's go. And it has a, and as you can see, it has a bloom. However, the entire vertical blooms. Instead of like Halo, Re instead of the Halo Reach Spartan pistol, uh, or Halo Reach pistol, Halo Reach pistol, or basically just bloomed its crosshairs. And this actually does sound a lot like the pistol from uh, Halo, uh, from Command Conquer Renegade, actually. Another thing about it. Rear fire? Or power? It's a slightly higher, slightly higher rear fire. Oh, this one blew the same way. Now we do want to see. I haven't tried this yet, actually. Just this, you remember. Oh, that's cool. Having two of these reticles, because you could never do wield a plume pistol before. By the way, I set up these targets. Which I need to actually set them up a bit better now that I understand the controls of Forge a bit more. 
Actually, no, they're pretty good. So, so power. Okay, we'll reload. Z to reload your secondary weapon. Now, the thing about this setup is when they don't go off on the same. Oh, yeah, they have two different rare fires. Go up there for headshots. No drop. I drop by pressing F. Oh, wait, I oh, punch it works. Oh, this is, this one's damage. This one's power. What's power mean? Well, oh, power means range. This one has a scope. But it takes four shots to set off the headshot. Oddly enough, and then, it, and then it's weird. But yeah, let's just let that go. Yeah, and actually, I think I think by power it also means range and rear fire because. Those have their fun. Remember your right hand swaps. I'm literally pressing them in the same rare fire, that's what happens. Oh yeah. Fast as I can press. Fast as I can press. It's a lot of rare fire as well. As well as more range. Moving on to the sorry rifles. I can also swap out right. To this one's power. Oh no, rare fire is different because there's the rare fire rifle as well. Yeah, see, it should, okay, this has longer range. As you can see, this one blows. This is what I was talking about with the pistol, by the way. The oh, sorry rifle has crosshairs. This one's very far mods as well. Damage. Also, I like how each individual gun sounds different. I mean, that's very not exactly the best editing, but it's good. Sorry, Apple. Simple back Are you done? Thank you. See, that's not supposed to work. I need to miss with it some more so it doesn't do the dual explosion. And also, you got a much higher limit because you're on PC. And let's try a normal sorry fall. And let's grab a power gun. Equal to one. Go to the suppressor. Crouch jumped over that. I hit, I hit the core. Does it even have the range? Yes, it does. Okay. Okay, very far. This one's been for close quarters. Oh, wait, hold on. Now they have different timers? 
Why is that where you spawned yet? No, that's not good. Is it not dead? Oh, he's these aren't phased. Okay, that's weird. I'll miss it later. You know, let's find some more guns. You know, let's find Damar. So that's power. Oh, by the way, you can uh, you can tilt it by by uh, by moving the mouse with the left mouse button down. However, it's very slow and requires big sweeping movements, but it works. Wait. It's still Halo 3 Forge <laughs> because it's still on the same engine. I like DMRs. DMR extra ammo, oh, wow. It looks very, it looks a lot like it has the scavenger blue. Also my blue. Makes sense. Is that like my ammo? Okay, let's check back with the elephant. I should have grabbed the war talk instead. Oh wait, I can grab one over here. I'm gonna save, hopefully. Hopefully everything gets reset. It should. Let's grab the civilian war talk actually. That's all like, and let's don't drive like a savage to the water. Uh, gonna have to, gonna have to, gonna have to. Uh, I mean, it's a war talk. It's all terrain, and we're in power armor. We can go into space. What's water going to do to us? I'm trying to figure out if my handbrake turns. Our DMR and power. And it has the Halo Reach scope because, of course. So now you can have your Halo Reach rifle in the game that's not Halo Reach. Two. Oh, I reset and yeah. Also, I rear fire. We think very strange. Actually, you should be able to test the range out here. So now I need to have a target all the way over there for, for range testing. Let's do that, shall we? It's not as easy as it used to be on the Xbox. I'm uh, with a controller. I'm going to put a target right here. Core. Hey, but you actually just the plain power core. Base, so it's fixed. Because there's no difference. And drop out. It's hard when you have to actually move to your uh, move from your mouse to the uh, to the controller. It's a standard DMR. It still gets that hit, hits it over there. There they are. It's all third second respawn A1. Damage. Oh, it has no scope. So we're fire no scope. And big bloom. Ooh, and a tiny bag. Time. And my sister's gonna be over in a little bit to do her school work on my computer because her laptop's broken, so I need to hurry up. Very nice. Ammo. Well. 
How long will 30 seconds will take? Jeez. Oh no, it's back. I'll be right back. Let's go get that. Respawn rate. Five seconds. I'll have a. I'll. I'll make more. I make better targets over there soon. Or in a little bit. Actually. Let's take damage. Damage. And let's shoot a war talk. Okay, that doesn't exactly work still. I was going to say we could actually blow it up with uh, normal guns, small arms, but no. Oh, it's good for customizing. As you can see, the war talk is faster. It has larger weight. Because remember, while, while Halo is a first person shooter, it's an arcade first person, first person shooter, it's still, first person shooter, it's still a physics sandbox. Sandbox because of the AI and just, well, Forge, <laughs> and a physics game because of the fact that it has physics, an actual physics engine. Okay, ammo. How much, oh, is there ammo difference? Oh, five more, okay, that makes sense. Name very far. I should use that for headshots, but you like my propane tank. But ha however, that is a one-shot headshot, so it's better. Ain't much higher rare fire. One in general direction is still going to be there, even though the draw distance is low. Same on magazine. It should. It should be. No, it's three less. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it is better, just just slightly though, and it doesn't bloom as much. However, okay, it doesn't it does bloom, but it does, but it does it slowly. Eh, well, that is why it's a physics sandbox. Oh, well, this is more accurate, it blooms more. Other than fire is not that much better. I mean, it's a semi automatic weapon, what do you want from it? This is rare fire, right? Oh, it's accuracy. Ooh. Okay, you suffer a bit more on the default, on the tiny accuracy, but it doesn't bloom as much. Okay, that makes sense. You can tell by the ghost line, yeah. What's very far? Damage. Oh, this is very far, okay. Oh yeah, much better, that makes more sense. Makes much more sense. How much? 12, of course. It's fine. distance but physics is still there that is good to know
think that's all. We, I think that's all I want to show today. We know you. Might as well just use you, cause why not? Missile pod. Oh, missile pod with infinity. Okay, your missile pod doesn't have infinity ammo unless, of course, it's bottom of this club. That makes sense. Oh wait, can you see the reflection in my armor? Yeah, you can. The armor reflects. That's cool. Makes you, makes you wonder does the vi do devices actually reflect? And that bug is still there on the neck. Of course it is. We have reflection. We have short range reflections, but the uh, but the, but the seam in the neck is still there. Of course it is. Actually, let me look at the weapons. Forge. Bam. Turrets. Oh, everything's back. Everything's normal. How oh, we got detached versions? Oh yeah, that's from Halo Reach. Yeah. That is a machine gun, thank you. Nah. And if you want replacement ammos, might as well get this. According to the place that makes some sort of sense. Just in case someone steals the vanity machine. So I didn't figure out how you tilt it on that on that axis on that axis, but that's fine. Um, anything else? Power weapons, rail guns, gravity stick. Oh, let me get my gravity stick. Get the gravity stick. Plasma gun. Since I'll be, of course, playing heal three ish. Wait, was he, was, um, was, oh, whoops. Shotgun. Halo reach shot, Halo 4 shotgun, unfortunately. NG SWAT. Make into a non SWAT. Boot shots. Instead of orange, it's red. That makes some sense, I guess. That's interesting. She went off your gun. Actually, which needler is this gonna be? Hill three ish one? Okay. Oh, I'll miss a battle rifles another day. All right, now let's save and get back. Fix the traffic PC. Yeah, you might freak some might freak some people out when uh, when they say over. Xbox. Say over my Xbox already turned off. Or if I, oh wait, it's saying don't turn off my Xbox, but I turned off PC instead. You know stuff like that. And actually, before before we go, let's change our emblem. Make the background color. Yeah, that's the wrong side. That's much better. Actually, let's switch these up. Um, I would really like better. I like that one better. Alright, I'll keep that. Alright. 
This is Valentine's better than the gold. Alright, so that'd be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching on this uh, video. It means a lot to me. Sorry for no action, but we had fun in Forge. I'm um, happy at tutorial as well. Alright, and, and, and uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this where you just me messing around in Forge. Um, I'll do them on the, I'll do them on X I'll do them with uh, Halo 5 as well. And even Halo 6 when it comes out. So yeah, please let me know. I'll do more of them. Instead of, instead of me basically just overviewing the map in Forge or me doing certain me looking at certain items and stuff in Forge, I'll can definitely miss around Forge on camera if you want. Um, but that'll be it for today because I didn't record anything last night. Um, and my sister's gonna be over in a, in, um, in a little bit. She's actually on her way already from school, not from college. So, uh, which, by the way, she uh, she's taking a in city college, so yeah. No, we're in, but she's a college that is in Jacksonville, not in, not another college or in this city college. No, although like that does do it does mean anything in Jacksonville. It's the entire because either you're all in, you're always in the city or you're always in the town or you're always in random fields. I'm not sure. How, Jacksonville's interesting, but yeah. And because our downtown is only, is very tiny because of all the rivers. But yeah. Um. But anyway, so she'll be over in a little bit, and I don't have time to record anything else. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thanks for watching, and I guess I know I, I enjoy I enjoy just basically messing around, and we did get to show some stuff off. But if you just want to see me mess around Forge normally, um, maybe if we do that with more hit with more El Dorito, uh, El Dorito as well as Halo Five, I will definitely do it in Halo Five. Maybe make me maybe make me a new headquarters in Halo Five. Maybe, that, that definitely needs to be done. Even in, even in El Dorito, try a new map or try basically. Find a map and try to make headquarters on it. We'll see. Alright, by the way, that'll be it for this video, and I guess, see you in